Hi everyone, it's Fumu. Um, we're having a good day today. Um, I am going to go ahead and do our daily PvP matches on both the accounts. Um, and uh, just kind of the normal stuff. Just got done with a, uh, a real uh, quick walk after work, so... Got my vitamin D in after being cooped up in the house for so long, so we're feeling pretty good. Um, today's guild match was interesting. Um, it was a guild that actually had a lot higher magic uh, stats than usual. Um, you know, it's kind of what's typically seen uh, on accounts. So it was kind of an interesting matchup. I've gotten word that two of our dudes at least have um, you know, gotten in there, done their matches. Uh, we're going to see if anyone else has. Doesn't look like it just yet. So just Tack and Nyanil um, have attacked, and I imagine just more of their dudes have been active so far. Um, so, well, uh, I think we're going to have an easier time against this. Um, so let's see, Tack had mentioned... Let me see... Tack took down Paziz and Yuna, and Nyanil took down Zio Rinti-sama and Hamilway. So, this is... Okay, pretty standard team. Final Fantasy Tactics Trio. Um... Let me turn this down just a smidge. Um... Hamilway... Oh, yeah! They mentioned uh, Hamilway actually had Murmur uh, on the team, and... Um, Murmur and Grace apparently are kind of like some hidden tech that I haven't really discovered much on. Um, so I was kind of uh, intrigued when... Um, I think it was uh, Nyanel who mentioned that. Um, and then Yuna we were also very curious of, because it's not very often where you see a, a mag stat over a thousand. Um, so I was very intrigued by that. Um, but having still yet a high attack stat, I was like, okay, who the heck is on this team? I, I expected Ramza. So seeing that it was a um, Ayaka and Mediana uh, is kind of interesting, because I know um, Orlando isn't attributing much to the um, magic stat. So, and then Zio Rinti-sama, eh, pretty standard stuff, Mediana, Thancred, and uh, Engelbert, so. Um, you know, I actually haven't really looked too much at the list to try to figure out who I'm going to try to tackle. Um, uh, let's see, 1229, so I probably shouldn't really go for this team here. Um, although I may have the best shot at it, aside from Putty. Putty may be able to do some work there. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll need to see kind of how our first match goes um, before we kind of come to the decision on that. Now, actually, oops, I made a mistake. I'm on my alt account. I'm not on my main account. Oh, that could have been bad. All right, so 1102 is my uh, attack stat. So we may not be able to shoot for the stars today. Um, whoops. Oh, dang it, blue stack, stop it. Um... I think we'll definitely go for Slevin. I don't understand what his name is. I'm going to call him Slevin. Um, we'll definitely do that one, I think, for my first match. And then that will determine if we're going to be, you know, feeling pretty confident to take out Hasura, or if we survive, take out Kylaris or something. We'll see. But let's go ahead and hop into this one, because it's, it's one that's not too terribly... Well, you know what? Hang on, because this has a higher mag stat, so we might want to help out there. Um, I think we'll go for this one. Yeah, we'll try this one first. 68, 57, 53. I think we sh should be okay. I'm kind of running into, and I think I've mentioned on some of the, the previous VODs, um, that I'm kind of running into a, a weird little, like, wall that I've noticed on a free-to-play account that I haven't ran into on my main account, um, where, like, it bottlenecks pretty heavily on Rainbow Frags, um, and also just the fact that I need shards to limit break to get anywhere on any of my teams, which really, really sucks. Um, Orlando's kind of a unfortunate lost cause. He got to LB3, and that's going to be unfortunately the, the farthest he's going to get um, until his um, event comes around next. But um, I need five rainbow frags to uh, get him to Awakening 6, and that's very difficult uh, personally when I can't just drop 40 bucks on the account. <laughs> so, Alright, so Ramza, Mediana, and uh, Fina. Interesting. We don't see Fina all too often, but getting a cheer on the Ramza may actually be pretty relevant. 
Uh, ooh, Terror Slash almost taken out Mediana. Cosmo Plume not doing a whole lot, so that's that's okay. Um, still a pretty decent hit with no way to heal. Shimmering Blade, no, going for a chant. Interesting. Fina coming in with Cure for another store. Probably didn't have enough AP for the, um, uh, oh, oh, Lazaro, okay. Ooh, no, Etra's out. Yikes, okay, that could be pretty pivotal. I'm gonna find out here. Crush Armor on the Fina, I'm gonna take her out. Nice, Cosmo Plume coming in and taking out both, so the new Quark and out. Um, but losing Etra is gonna be pretty big, I think. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to confidently go for that other team. Um, huh. Okay, that's unfortunate. I'm still so torn about Etra. Like, I want her to be good, damn it. Like, I just need to get her, like, maybe some really good armor. I need to improve on her weapons, I know that. Surprisingly, my highest attack fist, um, even though I had Cat Claws on her, and I've had Metal Knuckles on her, um, my actual highest attack stat out of all my fist weapons is actually the max level Bronze Knuckle. So I was like, oh, this kind of stinks. Because I wasn't able to farm the Cat Claw event to kind of develop a, a good Cat Claw um, to use. So that kind of sucked, but... You know, I, I had to work within the means of the account, I guess. Alright, so yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to take out Slevin confidently. We've got three empty Mont teams. Um, G. Rizzo, I don't suspect to attack. But the only other person who'd really go for an empty Mont team would probably be Rowan. Um... Because Tank and Dryzant aren't playing. They're inactive. Same with Mitsu. Chris might go for the Empty Mont teams. But he should be able to handle those bottom two. So we'll go ahead and just go for this one. Uh, just because, again, I, I lost my Etra, so that's pretty big. Um, I've only got a 16 and a 65. So, um, really hope this doesn't bite me in the bum. Because it's only a single Mont at level 60. So it's probably only waking level 4, maybe LB3. It doesn't look like he's even got a weapon equipped. Okay, Blizzard already taken out half. Nice, alright. Bell of Love doing some work. Bada boom, easy peasy. Alright, so what'll be nice about this is we still got our six stars um, that we can with the alt account. Even though there's only one mod, um, you know, it may not give us as many trophies. Uh, for that kill, but it's going to at least still get us the three stars, and that's the important part here. So, cool. We're uh, we're all set there. Um, let's go ahead and get over to our arena matches. I'm trying to not make this one last as long as yesterday's. Um, I saw that it kind of got closer to the hour mark, and it's like, damn, I just talk a lot, and I apologize, folks. Don't mean to bore the crap out of you. Um... All right, so into the arena. Uh, let's take a real quick look at the party formation, make sure there's no changes that I was looking to make. Um, I've kind of been a little low on money on this account, so I haven't been able to really develop the uh, Fleeting Tranquility um, card as much as I would like. Um, so we're still kind of tinkering around. I do like the extra HP. I think that's been a very solid choice. Oop, nope, out, 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 out. Back in 25Ks. Um, so Fleet and Tranquility, definitely don't write that one off. Oh, this could be good. That Gafgarian's really, really high up there. About this one. Those are levels I think I can deal with. Yeah, let's go for it. Um, oh, but yeah, it's... I think mainly the reason why the videos last quite a bit is just because I'm working with two accounts, and it, it takes a while just to get through some matches and stuff. Um... So, I mean, if, if you are watching these videos, uh, just kind of checking in uh, on the progress on these. I appreciate it. Um, and it kind of helps even just seeing some views on the, the videos that it's at least worth it to, for someone to watch. Um, so, appreciate you guys out there. 
Um, alright, so, this, no, this was not the one with Keton, okay. Okay, so we have a Dragoon Thancred. Crush Armor, not taking out Mediana. We're gonna get a Blizzard for that clap back. I don't think it's gonna take him out. Nope. And then Alley Oop, up and over. Surge Strike, however, is going to go ahead and get the Revenge. Um, I guess it's not really a Revenge kill, but Crush Armor the Thancred's gonna be pretty big. Um, Thancred going for a jump. That's gonna hurt quite a bit. Instant Cast Blizzard's kinda nice. Uh, there might be a Vow of Love on the Thancred. That or just we wanted to gang up on him. So now we just have this level 45 Engelbert. Um, I could see Orlando being taken out. Um, Mediana is really gonna, I think, do the most damage here. No, actually, Orlando did the most damage with that Crush Armor. I think the defense minus uh, coming into play really um, affected that. So, cool. Easy enough. Into the second one. And one of these days, I will do matchmaking. I may save that for, like, a stream uh, stream night or something. Um, depending on what events come next week. Because uh, this week was obviously, like, you know, Odin, the new event, uh, stuff like that. Which, by the way, I still cannot auto that dang Iron Giant event. I hate it. Uh, it makes it so hard to grind on it. It's like, I need these armor books, and I can't grind this efficiently. Like, I have to manual the fight, and that just makes it... Very, very unappealing. Uh, but I saw Howls actually put out a guide on how to make that fight a little easier. I need to actually uh, watch that video. I tried to pull it up during work, but I was like, this is very distracting. Um, so I couldn't finish it. Uh... Nah. I think the attack stat's a little too high for, for my comfort. What about you? Yeah, we'll go for it. <clears throat> Been kind of curious on Mediana. Mediana, um, I think, kind of doesn't see as much PvP play on, like, the standard teams out there these days. I don't know. I don't really look at, like, who's the top dogs. Um, maybe one of these days I'll take a look at it. But uh, my understanding is Mediana didn't see as much um, uh, play in PvP because of how squishy she is. Um... So I use her because I've got a Cosmo Plume nuke and it's it's pretty decent. It does get the job done, um, and I think having the magic um, on the side is helpful. But um, I I wouldn't be surprised if Mediana actually gets switched off the team um, at some point. But we'll see. All right, Stern's out of here with a Terra Slash and a Crush Armor, finishing him off. Mont's gonna go ahead and throw stones still. Mediana going for the Cosmo Plume on Mont. Pretty good damage, but uh, not taking a whole lot percentage out wise. And bada boop. Nope, just one. Alright, so not a whole lot. There's a lot of strike resist that Mont's got, so Etra's gonna have just a difficult time against that, I think. Stone throw back on the Orlando. Blizzard kicking away at stuff. Crush Armor hitting pretty hard there. Surge Strike on the Orlando's gonna do some beast damage. Alright, Blizzard on the Mont. Actually get an element combo. We uh um, lapped him, it looks like, and then Etra gonna go ahead and finish off the Orlando, so good work. Alright. Stacking up on these armor books. Maybe I could just get the armor book or I'm sorry, the arena tokens. I could maybe get the armor books just through there. I forget how much they cost. Uh, we'll take a look at it afterwards. Because something tells me if I need a stack of 10, they're 500 each. Uh, what you got? Ooh. Uh, yeah. Eileen is weak to strike damage, and that's mainly why I was considering it. Um, so, I don't know how this is going to go, though. Because Eileen can hit hard sometimes. She's got natural slash resistance, so that's going to um, resist Orlando. Um, but we'll have to see, I guess, kind of what happens. Crush armor on the stern, nice. I'm not going to go and throw a stone. Eileen? Nighthawk. Oh my god, that hits so hard. 
It's so good. I'm so glad Eileen is actually doing uh, pretty well. Because she was always rated as the worst you are um, outside of uh, Marchere. But I'm, I'm kind of glad to see the um, Nighthawks are just hitting as, as hard as they are. It's not great for my team, but it's it's great for the character being used. Crush Armor on the Stern, taking out Stern. Mediana going for the Blizzard. She didn't do the Cosmo Plume yet, so we still have that up our, up our sleeve. Ooh, Nighthawk taken out Etra. Get the Drain, interesting. Uh, Orlando must have not had a way to get over. Cosmo Plume, however, saving that nuke for the last shot. Go ahead and take out the Eileen. So we made it. I've been very curious about making Etra a knight. Uh, subclass and seeing if that does any additional work, but I'd have to develop up the skills a little bit, because um, like if I can get disables off with like arm break or something, I think that could be pretty good. Um, but I still need to poke around and just try to figure out where Etra can shine, because I feel like she's just on the cusp of it, but the problem is, is just monks aren't really um, very prevalent in the meta today. Um, and I think that's just mainly because there's other units like Engelbert and Mont, who are, um, and they're resistant to strike damage. Um, so it kind of makes it difficult for those uh, monks to do their job, essentially. Oh, I made it up into the 15Ks. I.e., I am going to have a hell of a time trying to find a match. <laughs> We're going to go to the bottom of the list. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Well, the problem is, is I can't really fix much of this uh, much of this issue at all because I can't level my dudes because they're gate kept by these dang limit brigs. Hey, another Etra. I don't know. Oh, you don't see that all too often. I unfortunately will not be tackling this team because Jesus Christ that attacks that. But interesting to see that. I like seeing the O. Uh, oh my God. I, I don't think I'm going to have an easy match this time, guys. I, I don't think I can avoid anyone with uh, out of 90. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> Jiminy Christmas. We're, we're just at that spot in the arena rankings where it's going to get tough. Have I looked at everyone yet? Like, Jesus. There's not a comfortable match in here. Bleh. It's like my team. On my main account. Don't do that to me. 74, 98. No. We might have to go for that extra team just to use that as a, an excuse to see what's going on. It's not terrible, but it's outleveling me in every situation. Was that the one I just looked at? It is not. <sighs> this is not good, guys. This is not good. I'm pretty sure that's everyone on the list, and every single one of these teams is out-leveling me. How did it come to this? How could this happen to me? I've made my mistakes. I forget the rest of the lyrics, I apologize. I'm not emo enough. Uh, where did that Petra team go? Was it was it Kai? It was. All right, YOLO. <laughs> Literally every single one of those teams out leveling me. My goodness. All right, so I am very curious what this Etra's got packing. Um, so Mithra Claws, and it is a knight. This is going to be kind of a really good factor to determine if I poke around with this knight stuff. Soaked up a crush armor. O out here just giving evasion left and right. Terra Slash on the Gafkarian. Uh, <laughs> Abyssal Blade. Just doing a stupid amount of damage. Great. Um, Cosmo Blue? Nice. Alright, Gafkarian's out of here. Etra took a decent sized hit. Stinks that my Etra couldn't get to the um, O in time. 
Wow! Impressive. Yep, we done. <laughs> Alright, I think that really does solidify, though. I need to poke around with Knight on Etra. Um... Because the divine, divine Healing increased her max HP, which helps a little bit with the bulk issue. The Arm Break did a stupid amount of damage. Um, so I, I think that's definitely going to solidify a few things. Now, I can't do anything with that, though, until I get some money on this account. Because I am tapped out, and I will be farming turtles all weekend. Because um, I can't afford anything at the moment. All right, uh, I'll start from the top. That's one level 99, can't fight that. And that's a too high average level. Too high average level, but the Rai Ryu isn't terribly scary. At least on my main account, I don't know on this account. Um, you know, that's not like absolutely bad, but I am certain a Crush Armor is going to come from this Orlando, and I'm going to cry. So we're going to remember Moonlights, we'll come back to that one. Ooh, we might go for this one, actually. This will still hurt, but the low-level Eileen might be okay, but man, that attack stat. Come back to RSG. Nope. Ninety-nine Gafgarian. Nuts. I'm not gonna say this name. Um... Man, the Frederica is kind of the scary bit on that team. Nile, no, Zul, no, not really any confident matchups here, I apologize guys. It's gonna take a little bit to, this one's not bad. Your stole is not scary. Let's go for this. And yeah, the attack stat's not that great either, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Oh, don't you do this. Blue stacks, don't you do this. Don't you crash on me. It's probably going to get to a uh, enemy animation, and then it's going to crash, and then we're not going to be able to view this match, and then I'm going to be very sad. Crush armor. Taking out Mediana. <sighs> Unfortunate. Stone throw. <laughs> Tried to Terra Slash. That didn't work. Nice, Crush Armor taking out your mage. How's that feel? Illusion. See, I think that's one of the changes I also need to make on this team, is maybe poking around with Samurai on Gaff Gear. Uh, I'm sorry, Orlando. Because um, that's what we see more often. So, Crush Armor on Orlando. <laughs> with a clap back. Ah, that's so rude. Alright, so Etra's gonna struggle. Bop and grab the crystal. Etra, please. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> but you just gave him another crush armor, I'm sure. Nope, okay, just smack. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. We're at that point, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna lose all of these matches on this account. Guarantee it. That's what I get for having a unit bonus. All these matchups that I can't handle on this account. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, let's take a look real fast over here. So the books... Normally the arena tokens are how you get access to um, the equipment uh, stuff. So obviously you have your Sage's staff that you would probably ultimately aim for. Um, don't know much on this, but from what I've heard, the magic stat is like up in the 200s. So it's it's good, just takes a while. Um, the seals are 300, the hammers are 1800, the books are 120, so that's actually not that bad. Um, so if I wanted, say, 10 books, that is only 1200. So, you know, I've saved up a bit. Well, uh, we'll come back to that, because that's actually very interesting um, for the sake of uh, fist weapons. 
so that's not that bad. And I wish they had more of the um, monster parts, though. So I think what's holding me back is Malbro vines. Uh, or, like, from making, like, another cat claw. Um, I forget on this account if I can do that. Let's check that out real quick, and then we'll hop over to um, the other account. Uh, let's go here. Go here. So I can make mithril claws. I should probably do that eventually. I need more um, recipes to make like a plus one at least. Uh, cat claws. Yeah. Oh, actually, I need everything. So I definitely did not get a good opportunity to farm the event uh, when it was around. So kind of unfortunate. We kind of missed out on that, but. The Mithril Claws are still really good, because um, they don't have negative crit. The maximum attack, if you get it on an Assault, is only one less. Downside is it doesn't have the uh, Evade. Um, but, you know, positive crit, uh, and the agility is kind of nice as well. I forget what the Cat Claws get up to, but... Um... Oh, and I, I screwed these up anyway. When you make a weapon, don't level it. Don't. Just, just don't. Uh, because you will not be able to use this in a recipe combination for a plus one unless this is at level one. Literally, you want to start with three recipes. That way you can go ahead and uh, make two of the uh, two different versions of the weapon and then combine those two versions into a plus one right off the bat. That plus one you can take to a level 10 and then stop because otherwise you're going to screw up the rest of it and waste your recipes. So I screwed up on this one. Um, but you can reset these, and I think it resets it back to level 1. So it's like not all lost. Um, you just end up using these resources, and then it costs 100k. So, um, how many fist books I got? 30, yeah. Um, so, okay. Okie dokie. I think that's everything on this one. Oh, we'll clear this out real quick, and then we will get over to the other thing, my jigger. Come on, Blue Stacks, you can do it. All right, I'll go ahead and pause it here, and then I'll hop over to the other account while Blue Stacks tries to figure out life. Um, so we'll be right back. Oh, are you serious? Oh no, I'm an idiot. I am so sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to edit this video. I apologize. Um, I'm gonna edit this out, but uh, I did not have that recording. Um, I didn't have it transitioned over to show that. Wow. I can't believe I missed that. I am in incredibly sorry about that. Um, wow. I'm upset with myself. So we're going to miss out on the guild battle footage today. One of the replays broke anyway, which sucks. But I, I took out their strongest team, which was really cool to see. Uh, that was the replay that broke. And then um, I took out another mid-level team. So I apologize. We learned through mistakes. Learned through mistakes. <laughs> That's all I can tell myself here. Very, very sorry. Um... All right, so let's see. I'm not a whole lot here. Liard's gotten up to 93, so she's getting up there. Um, looks like we're still in the 25k, so we're kind of roughly where my alt account was. Um, but we're going to see if we have as much trouble. Heck no. Let's get into here, and let's just screw some folks up. Liard is going to go after that Mediana, hopefully. If not, the Ryreel. And then Mont is going to try to tear up that Orlando. And then Thancred is just going to be Thancred. And he's going to do his, do his best. A bit of buffing. And Orlando's getting them dangerously close. Need to bop him, bop him. Oh, Killer Blade didn't take him out. Got a supercharge. Who are you supercharging? Liart, come on. 
Supercharge missed. Yo, that's not good. That's not good. Liart. <laughs> no. All right. So Thankrid's gonna do some work here. Um. <sighs> Jesus Christ. This literally is only happening because that supercharge missed. <laughs> We might be able to turn this around. Taking out two folks at the same time is pretty pivotal. Um, but we've got a full... Oh my god. Uh... Oh, okay. That's what I was hoping was going to happen. <laughs> I was like, it is. he has got to rough divide here. And that's going to be his only like saving grace right now. Oh, that was so close. Oh my gosh. Literally had that supercharge not missed, that would have gone completely different. Oh my goodness. Did I just see free to play by the way? God dang it. I think that's one of Rush Locks that counts. That's great. Alright. So into number two. Uh what you get? What you get? Pretty high stuff. Nope. What you get? More comfortable stuff. Level 99 Yishtola is kind of scary, but we'll try it. Man, I'm still upset that I did not catch that the entire time. Ah, I'm mad at myself. Basically what it is is OBS when you have the studio mode going. I had it up on the left side, which is supposed to be the kind of prep window, and I never transitioned it over to what actually shows. <laughs> uh, idiot, idiot, idiot. Oh, well, that's all right. Not a huge deal. Snipe Dagger? Wow, that's mean. I had a supercharge going, so that's super mean. Well, Crush Armor and the Thancred. Not doing a whole lot to him, thankfully. Killer Blade almost taking out Ziza. Rough Divide taking out Yishtola, though. Out of there. He's squishy. Ziza not doing a whole lot against Mont. Crush Armor still not doing a big number, at least. Um, heal back a little bit from that Pummel. Knock out the Ziza. I think we'll be fine. Blasting zone. Ooh. Ooh. A little bit of the clap back there. We don't see Night Veal uh, used very often. I was kind of expecting it to use a hollow bolt or something. So, but still clutched it out. The art, unfortunately, getting knocked out very quickly in the beginning there. As soon as we can work on her bulk, I, I kind of feel like she's going to do a bit better. The smart coat, if she can equip it, I haven't looked to see if she can, uh, could be a very good pick for her. All right, let's see. Sydney, what you shoot? What you got? What you got? Uh, I don't like the Mediana and the Orlando. What you got? I like this team. Divine Grace may help Liart a little bit. Uh, Supercharge, okay. Heart of Stone will help a little bit on the defense side, but kind of hard to say he's going to try to hit her from that far away. Okay. Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> it's like, please don't tell me you're going to run all the way down there. Just a stone throw. <laughs> it's like, come on. Alright, Liart going to go ahead and finish off Mon. That's great. Rough Divine. Uh, okay. I was like, not teleporting? 
Ooh, Traitorous Blur, uh, Traitorous Blade hit pretty hard. Nice, finish off the Orlando. Liart doing a great job at wrapping things up. And Burst Strike finishing off the Gafgarian. Taunting Blade is such a great move. Never been disappointed with the uses on that. Delete him? Ooh, you got a Catone. That could be pretty interesting. Uh, we'll come back. I don't know. I might have to try to keep up my streak of never losing to an Elda. <laughs> I'll go for it. This will be Commentator's Curse. Guarantee it. I'm going to lose to this Elda. Just because I said I wouldn't. Alright, Stern's Ninja, of course. Why wouldn't he be? Now we cry. At least we're not gonna get crushed armored from across the map. Mmm, we're probably gonna have a shriek into the face in the moment. Uh, Supercharge, probably on the. Um, yep, on the stern. So, decent hit, though. I like that. Ooh, Hassan Brick. Almost killing himself. Jesus. Stone throw. <laughs> man, you could save that for freaking Liart. Come on, man. Ooh, Nighthawk. Uh, sure. That'll help a little bit, I suppose. That would have been a lot better if that stunned. But you're going to get taken out here in a moment. Yep. Okay, so Thancred's really going to have to do most of the work here. It's a great start, man. <laughs> Ooh, yep. Got afraid that was going to happen. Alright, Blasting Zone hitting pretty tough. Burst Strike coming in. We lapped him, too, which was interesting. Ooh, Jagular Rip. Bop. Alright. Cool, we pulled through. So, ha! Commentator's Curse did not happen. I think I got one more. Yeah, one more. One more. Oh, where are you? Questionable. Ooh, with that attack set, it's very high. I don't like that. Ooh, I do not like the whale. Um. Why is the max stat so low with a Mediana on the team? The horde. Mainly because I don't think this Mediana is going to be much of a threat. How the heck do they have it set up? It's a Mediana on a ninja? Like, what's going on? Actually, does Mediana get, like, a Decider of Fates or whatever? That'd be an interesting note. Uh, crush armor from across the map, of course, of course. Uh, go for a supercharge, probably on the Orlando. Bap. Okay, so decent damage. Rallying cry on all three. We're gonna get up and over. Probably trying to get the Aurora on himself, which would be nice. Go ahead and get another auto attack off. Um, not getting a uh, crush armor on the way back. Why did you? Oh my god, this Aurora AI is aggravating. Yeah, that Blizzard, this Mediana may not be set up very well, because it, Blizzard did not hit for nearly as much as it should have. Rot Row. think we're getting a little beat up, because somebody tried to Aurora Mont instead of himself. Alright, so Liart doing her job as a Mediana killer. 
Uh, ooh, we've got a blasting zone coming in. She'll still hit Engelbert despite Mont uh, taking out Orlando there. Nice. Foul of Love helping save Thancred a little bit. Sharpshoot coming in. And big it about. Nope, not yet. Bop. There we go. Alright, pulled it through. Very weird to see such a not like a nuke heavy Mediana. That was very strange. Alrighty. Oh, man, I did not do a great job of making this video any shorter, guys. I apologize. Kind of 50 minutes. So, again, guys, I'm very sorry about the guild battles. Um, and actually, I guess it won't be 50 minutes because I'm going to edit this and try to cut it down out of the uh, silliness that I did. But, um, yeah, that's today's matches. So, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. I am sure you are hearing my cat yowling because he is... A whiny baby. You didn't hear me. Um, but, yeah. So, thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you guys tomorrow. Um, and I will do my best not to mess up tomorrow. So, have a great day, guys. <laughs>